This is Bree, <laughs> a lover of all things retro. From old 90s board games to vintage Minty's clocks, this garage has got absolutely everything. Everything that I, as an eBay seller, would love to get my hands on. Brie reached out to me saying that she was happy to sell her collection and invited me over for a look. But as is the case with all true collectors, parting with these items is gonna be a difficult task. Have you got a whole price in mind on everything? One big number? <laughs> One big scary number? There's a lot to go through. Jeez, it's a monster garage, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it is. It's incredible. Yeah. You've got a lot of everything. Yes. From the looks of it. Yes. Right, the motorbike. Okay. That's, that's the motor. Not mine. Oh, yeah. That's the, that's the housemate, so you can't have that one, unfortunately. <laughs> this is very cool. This is cool. Yeah, Space Invaders. Yeah, what is it? It's Space, Space Invaders. Invaders. Oh, wow. That is cool. Yeah. It, well, it has all the things inside of it, but. You yeah, haven't got it. it out in the rain, so I don't think the computer parts will work. Okay. But I was thinking of either turning it into like a fish tank. Oh yeah. Or putting in, or getting another screen and like putting a PlayStation or something in there so you can play it through there, do it up. It's not like wildly heavy, hey. No, it's not. Yeah. And you found that at the tip, you said. Yeah, I found it at the tip. Lizmo tip shop, mate. Lismore tip shop. Yeah. Oh. oh! Yeah, so it had water in it, so I don't think any of this stuff will work, the electricals. But it's just more the frame. The like, frame, yeah. That's very, very sick. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Yeah, nice. But yeah, that's my project that I haven't started yet. No, like that's me. fair. <laughs> like holding hats. What are you mainly into yourself? For my own collection. Video games. Video games. Yeah. And then, like, cool 90s stuff at the moment. 90s? Yeah. It's nostalgic? Yeah, nostalgia. Yeah. I've gone through so many different collections. I started with coins when I was like 17 or 15. Yeah. And then I moved from coins to like more of the games and Pokemon. So I have heaps of Pokemon, but now I'm kind of like, we need to buy a house. So I try <laughs> to, you know, actually move it so that it can turn into something. Turn into some cash. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, nice. Yeah, like. Bunnington, more VHS. I haven't seen one of them before. Yeah. The steering wheel. And it's yeah, also, wow. you know, when you think of it, there's, there's really good stuff here, but the marketplace. It's tough. It's tough, you yeah. know, and it's like more of an eBay stuff, and it's like, but yeah. I just don't have the time and, no. you know, to do it. You know, I'm a full time carer for my wife, so. Yep. Yeah. That takes up a ton of time, yeah, I'm does. sure. Yeah. It's never ending adventure in here. It is, it is, yeah. So this is what I found the other day. Okay, night, night man. Yeah, it's it's really cool. What's it's, this? They're books. books. Yeah. Batman books. I saw the Batman on the car. Yeah. Batman fan. Yeah. It's actually a video game that you play with a VHS. Hey, I like that McDonald's box. Yeah, the lounge fly. Yeah, what is it? It's a, it actually opens. Backpack? It's like a backpack, yeah. Wow, that is really cool. Look at the quality of it. Yeah, McDonald's lounge floor. And then you can open it up. Where'd you find it? Um, I actually wanted a time stone. <laughs> Did you? Yeah. No way. And those were those ones that came out at the, um, through McDonald's, the nugget ones. Oh, okay. Yeah, right. And they had the adult Happy Meal. No way. Yeah. That's cool. I just love that. I've never seen that before. I know. I don't know if I can part with that one. That's fair. Yeah. <laughs> That's fair. You let me know whatever you don't want to be parting with. I will, yeah. But most Harry Potter. Of all of this stuff. Yeah, I've got, look. Goosebumps. I've got these really cool Batman shoes. Oh, they are cool. Yeah, Did you see that I've got rid of all my shoes recently? I know, I yeah. I know. Yeah. That makes it hard with these because yeah. I, I want them. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they look sick. How much? You take them. Probably 150. Ooh, yeah. like they them are pretty right, cool. Though. Yeah. They, they look brand new. They are pretty sweet. Even like these jeans in Corey Omani Oh jeans, yeah, Omani they're, jeans. They're pretty good. But yeah. yeah, I've got all these Harry Potter books. Look. That's awesome. Harry Potter does really well. Yeah, so. Go nuts on the HP. There you go. That's <laughs> sick. <laughs> <laughs> and I've got, I know you're not into pops. <laughs> no, not as much. But... Not as much, but these, these are all my Batman pops from when I was okay. collecting. Batman stuff. Nice. Deadpool in Rainbow is pretty cool. Yeah, Deadpool in Rainbow is right. You got a bunch of Batmans here, don't you? Yeah. 
Is there any that you know that's sort of the best of the best out of these Batmans? Um, this Pixel one. Yeah. Yeah, and this one is the best. It's the New York, New York Comic Con. New one. York Comic Con. So that's, oh no, that's an 0101. It's different. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, cool. Harley Quinn as well. Yeah. Pride Harley Quinn. And these ones are in the big, in the tougher cases. Yeah, the protectors. 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 Even again. Winnie the Pooh. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we had a lot of Winnie the Pooh stuff as well because my partner was into Winnie the Pooh and I was the Batman, so that's okay. right. But like, even these I've found, like old Minnie Mouse plushies. Oh, yeah, plushies. yeah. Yeah, that's, that's awesome. Winnie the Pooh old ones from like the you 90s. Can tell. They're cool. You can tell that's this true. This one with its tag still on it. What was the, uh, says 1998. 1998. 1998, Tigger. Yeah, Tigger. Flash, yeah. hey? Yeah, I mean, it's <laughs> like, cool. pretty well. Like, <laughs> super old stuff does, yeah. does great. And you can sell that almost as a collection. Yeah. That's a 97 Mattel mm -hmm. uh, Winnie. And then there's Eeyore too. You got the full set. This one is a recenter one. More, yeah. more modern. Modern, but still with tag. Okay. Yeah. And you got more Lego down there. <laughs> I like the look at this board now. Yeah. Goosebumps, I know. Look at that. That's an old, super old game. What's on that? That's and these ones are really old too, the Batman ones here. Batman, Ooh. yeah. Wow. Some more Lego here too, or are these just empty? These are the boxes, yeah, because this one I have upstairs. Okay. Yeah. And then I have that one somewhere too. Actually, I think the box is still down here. I have. Are they computer games in there or are they the DS games and stuff? These ones are just the cases. Okay. But they are good ones like Sonic Chronicles, Mario and Sonic. This is probably the best case only. Super Mario, Super Mario Bros. Mario. And it's like, I don't know whether I keep them in case I find them or yeah. it's hard choice, you know? It is. Yeah. This Fender That's one's good. Yeah, I've got that upstairs. That's a great one. I found oh, you Garrison. did. Yes. Just last week. That goes really, really well. This is good too. Yeah. Yeah, that's, that's very That's cool. um, Guitar Hero, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, Guitar Hero. That's the Wii version. Oh, and that's the Wii, Wii Guitar. I haven't tested it yet. Yeah, okay. But yeah. That does well too. Yeah. The Wii Guitar and stuff. It's just a bit bulky. Yeah, it is. A bit bulky to... This um. Is so cool. This is a... That is cool. <laughs> that is Radio Radio Man. Man and it has the oh the whole suit yeah. oh the full suit <laughs> yeah I looked wow. it up on eBay and they sold comps for like a hundred dollars or more two thousand three yeah you could uh, do Halloween the whole pick up. with this yeah. one yeah <laughs> 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 do some pictures <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> Radio Man that is very sweet yeah unreal like I've got good stuff you do. Just, yeah. Yeah, this stuff. I think you'll be interested in. Yeah. It's a Samsung um, DVD recorder. Oh, uh, the records are always better. Yeah. So not tested or anything? It is tested. It's it is. working. Okay. Um, yeah, cool. And it has the remote and the manual. Oh, well, that's handy. Yeah. Yeah, it's tested working complete. Yeah. That's awesome. They do really well, the records. Yeah. DVD recorder. Yeah. But again, I love more of an eBay thing uh, than a oh, Facebook market. One hundred percent an eBay thing. Yeah. yeah, the um, the shipping can cost a little bit. Yeah. Uh, with the biggest a bigger item like this, but it does do well. Even like even this, how cool! It's just a Ronald McDonald Simpsons comic. Yeah. Yeah, that's and very like cool. There's like Star Wars comic here. You have everything, Stuff. isn't there? I do. That's awesome. That's <laughs> <laughs> awesome. That is good. Oh, man. There's, I mean, you could literally... You could spend all day in here. Yeah. Simpsons puzzles. Yeah. We've got some wee right there. Foot trot flaps, which I know you like. Oh, foot trot does well. Yeah. Yep. 11, Garfield, 12. Yeah, Definitely Garfield a viewer. Yeah. Foot <laughs> <laughs> trot does very well. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Even sealed, you know, sealed cars, dominoes, because why not? Absolutely. <laughs> you know? Where are you mainly finding all this? In, in op shops? In op shops. Do you good op shops and this sort of stuff? Yeah. Are you out there regularly or what? Um, pretty regularly, yeah. 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 That's and really How long have you been doing it? Oh, over a year or so. Over a year. That's, not, that's yeah. cool. Nice. Over, maybe even yeah, I've been how collecting you, stuff for ages, you know. How do you go on Facebook with it all? Um, 
when I have the chance to actually list it, yeah, pretty good. Pretty yeah. good. Yeah. I've sold DSs and stuff like that, and you know, I I'm trying to kind of get into the games. Like I have a lot of games upstairs, which you'll see shortly. Yeah, I'm keen to see um, the collection. Um, but, How big um, is it? How many? Oh, like I don't know, maybe a few hundred. A few hundred. I don't know, maybe not a hundred, but yeah, wow. at least a hundred. What are you mainly into? At the moment, PS2 games. Yeah. Yeah. It's very popular. I PS2. really am looking for um, Futurama. Okay. Yeah, for my personal collection. You don't have it yet? I don't have it yet. I did have it's it a big one. Ago. I did have it years ago, and then I sold it at that time, and then I wish I never did. Yeah. But, you know, it was, it was a good deal at the time. Uh-huh. I spy DVDs. I Teen spy. Mum is really. Have you seen Teen Mum on eBay? It has some crazy prices. Does it? Those ones are sealed. Yeah, yeah. they are. Yeah, because it's it's a um, American. It's American, but it's also you know one of those ones where it was a bit. How you going? Was like, and I don't know about this book. But this book kind of scared me when I first looked it up. <laughs> Star Wars. Star Wars. Star Wars. The Clone Wars. No prisoners. Okay. Yeah, there was a, there was, I don't, not sure too much about the soul, but there was like ridiculous $400 one on there on really? eBay. And I was like, surely not. Maybe a first edition or something. Yeah. Because this one, you know where to find the first. It says it usually on this page here. It doesn't seem to say first edition. Normally it's just yeah. a line on its own. But... But it was still cool, like you know. absolutely hardcover too, which is yeah. always good for books. But yeah, Harry Potter, Harry Potter for a dollar too. That's awesome. Yeah. And Carl Barron. Carl Barron. Carl Barron. Yeah, he's good. He's the best. He's really good. Kind of looks like me. <laughs> Sealed Wii controller. That's cool. Yeah, classic controller for the Wii. Yeah, there's a big assortment here, isn't there? There is. Where do you begin? Is what I want to know. <laughs> I just don't even know how to know. how to crack my little pile. I want to is come it? back for another round at some point. I think you should, yeah. yeah. Is there anything in... This one's Space Jam, Monopoly, brand new. Yeah, nice. This, this is probably... Here we go. What, yeah. Yes. This is just some of them. Just some. Yeah. What do we got? <coughs> PSP. PSP. Oh, you got a PSP it console? Just, it just has... No battery in it. No battery, that's yeah. okay though. There's a bunch of mixed genres, um, yeah. mixed consoles. Yeah. Skate 3, Xbox 360. There's some PSP games. Yeah. They're pretty cool. Star Trek. Yeah. Super Mario Land. Yeah. Nice. Sonic. In the Sonic in the ring. secret rings. Oh, you got a game, a game, a GameCube game. Yeah. A series of unfortunate events. <laughs> That's awesome. Just why not? You know. <laughs> yeah. I hear. I grab anything related to video these games. Are the, these are the ones you probably. Oh yeah, they're good. Yeah. Yeah. Super Mario Minecraft, Galaxy. Super Mario. Xbox 360 classic. Yeah. 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 Grand Theft Auto sometimes. Yeah, some some Grand Thefts do do well. Yeah. Um, and then some more generic ones, SingStar High School. These are just the ones that I like. Yeah. Yeah, nice. So what? So what's in your gaming collection? Have you got? At the moment, I have a PS3, a PS2. An Xbox 360 and the Xbox Series X. Okay. Yeah. No um, Game Boys or anything like that? Old school? Um, I have some Game Boy games. Yeah. yeah. I just don't actually... I've been looking on the hunt for either a DS Lite with, with the Game Boy slot or a Game Boy. Yeah. Yep. Nice. But they are hard, hard to come by. Very hard to come yeah. by. Yeah. PS4 games. I don't have... I used to have PS, but then I switched to Xbox, yeah. Nice. But I still like, I just can't say no. <laughs> I know, I know. You and me both. Yeah. Especially on the video game category. Exactly, exactly. <coughs> it's um, just the time to, you know, it's like there's money here to be made. It's just trying to, you know, get the time to be able to do it, you know. More games. 
some things you might need. Oh. Oh, some lenses. Yeah. Some old lenses. Yeah. Yeah, nice. This one, I looked up. I couldn't find it. I think it was the same. But these, this one kind of scared me when I looked it up because there was some saying $400. And I was like... Oh, wait. Camera gear does well. Yeah. That lens looks pretty <laughs> clean. There's some... There is some little yeah, bits. But yeah, but I'm pretty sure you can get in and clean that. Clean it, yeah. The fogging is, there's no cracks or anything, which no. is good. Stones, and Squid Game. Squid Game sealed. Sealed oh. Squid Game. I've never even seen that on board game. No, me either. Like, this thing is from the 2000s. It's literally the Disney 2000 thing. And oh, yeah. And Winnie the Pooh. Winnie the Pooh. What is like, it? A... It's like a... Latch like, hook. Yeah, so it's like an, an art, I don't know what you call it. Yeah, right. Yeah. But just, you don't see that from the year 2000, still sealed, not no. used. No, absolutely you not. Know? And I go to garage sales a lot as well. And what are these mighty beans? They were a 2000s thing. Um, they're like little collectible <laughs> things. That you and then it has the stand in that bag where you could build um like a tower and then you could race them down the tower. Is that right? Yeah. Mighty beans. Yeah. Got an extra one there too. Looks like yeah. Play. Never even heard of them. They they were like my one of my childhood toys that I used to play with. Mighty beans. Yeah. And these things are cool. These little ones. Oh, what are they? These are little, what are Mad they called? Hatter. Yeah. Hornblower, 1982. Yeah, it, it's well, yeah. a complete set. Is it? Yeah. Richard. So it's got Sherlock Holmes, Dr. <laughs> Watson. It's the complete, they're all the characters are here. Right. Yeah. Merlin, all 1982. Yeah. I picked these up probably two years ago at a garage sale. Okay. And I've just sat here untouched. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty cool. Yeah, you got so much, so much stuff. A lot of Lego. Oh, yeah, seal so that too. Batman. Um, it's a clock. This is a little Yoshi cool. Oh, come over here. Like Not the rules. Uh, Batman. Belt buckle. Oh yeah. Yeah. Nice. Um, but I've got this guy. I've got the box for him too. Oh wow. Yeah. Icon Heroes yeah. number one sixteen of a thousand. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Yeah, that sort of stuff does well when there's yeah. one of the two. And then these I've seen are these those, sorts of yeah chess pieces. chess pieces. I've got. Batman, Robin, and the Joker. Nice. And I have the books somewhere too that came with them when oh. you got them from, because they were like, I think they were similar to like when you used to get stuff at the post office in the magazine and it came with like a figure and you could get like oh, a subscription yeah. thing. I'm pretty sure you could subscribe to get one every Batman month pieces. or yeah. And then you had to get everyone to get the complete set. So that'd be tough to get. Yeah. If they're only coming out weekly. Yeah, and they all have a different, um, Number on the back. Number on it. Yeah, yeah, so you can easily identify it online. Yeah. I mean, you got the you got the big guy though. You got the Batman. Yeah. <laughs> He'd be the king, wouldn't he? Yeah. Surely. <laughs> yeah, wow. So I've got the. Oh yeah, complete. Um, one at my mum's house still. I have the big one and the big car. Okay. In the Lego. And this is all Lego wrapped up, eh? Yeah, because when I moved, I didn't want the pieces to break. Yep. So I've just wrapped them up like this. Like Kept I've got complete. the crow. And that's why I know all the pieces are still complete. If, if they break off, they'll break off in the plastic, you know. Nice. Yeah. And then they have the minifigures in there too. Oh, the minifigures in there. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah, I can imagine these would be pretty sought after. Lego does well. Yeah. Batman Lego, no doubt too. This is oh, this is the bike. bike. Yeah. Wow. How long do these take you to make? Um, these ones probably only Hour, so oh, you can blitz them, eh? Yeah. That looks like a lot of work on this bike. <laughs> <Yes. laughs> It'll probably take me a year, I reckon. <laughs> Why so long? <laughs> there's, actually, there's actually a really cool place downtown called 
um, the Brick Lounge. So I think you should go and check it out. Go today. there and uh, yeah, just watch them go about their business. Yeah, because they you can go there to just build Lego sets. Wow. Yeah. And that's where I go to just build Lego sometimes instead of forking out all the money to buy it, you know? Yeah. I also put a bunch of pieces down there for you to work with, hey? Yeah, they have complete sets so you can... Just go they, down and get started. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, that's that goes inside of the truck. The truck's all complete in there. It's just kind of broken up, broken a bit. up at the moment. But he's all in there. Yeah, and all and the And that goes in, does in it? There. Yeah, it kind of hides in and then it can shoot out and then a bike sits underneath here and you can pull <laughs> things. Wow. Yeah. Damn. Where do you begin? It's <laughs> <laughs> another bag. That's cool. Another it's lounge fly. Yeah. Oh, it's All the same as the other flies. ones. Yeah, it's like the Simpsons yeah. one. Well, I don't even know I've won that in a claw machine at times. Yeah, claw machine. <laughs> <laughs> I've never They're pretty cool. I've never even heard of lounge flies, but I imagine they'd be pretty popular. Yamaha P200. Looks like it's complete. I don't know too much about these at all. Yeah. But sometimes I just find the console. The clock. Oh yeah, there's also minties. How cool are they? Minties. Lots of time. <laughs> well, there you go. Know, you can be, have a Christmas Batman. <laughs> Christmas Batman. That'll be you this year, won't it? <laughs> that looks custom made. Yeah. Oh yeah. No, so that was from a musical that happened <gasps> about. Put it on. Twelve years ago. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty cool. <laughs> There's some crazy stuff in this room. <laughs> that will make the video for sure. <laughs> this is why I kind of want, like, my dream was to be able to get a retro store, especially in this more because there's not really much here, like after the floods, you know, everything. We don't have a cinema anymore. We don't have, you know, a lot of the things that was entertainment for especially, you know, teenagers and whatever mm. isn't here anymore. Mm. You know, so having a retro store. Having a retro store would really, I feel like it would be cool even to be able to, for people who, you know, used to play the old 64 games to be able to come in and see it again or, you know, yeah. play it again, you know. Yeah. Yeah. Get that um, Space Invaders set up in store. Yeah. Refurb. <laughs> That'd bring a crowd as well. Okay. You've got another Super go. Mario 2. Oh, I think you had a Galaxy over there on its own. Yeah. So you got Galaxy 1 and 2. And 2, yeah. Yeah, that's a good game. And like Wallace and Gromit. Like, who doesn't love Wallace and Gromit? Oh, I love Wallace and Gromit. <laughs> that is a great show. One of the best. Not enough episodes made yeah. of Wallace and Gromit. And this Hangman thing does a lot on eBay. Yeah. Okay. That's one of the ones I've seen other YouTubers and that pick up. Hey man. Yeah. 1994 Ram toy. Yeah, and it's complete. I've checked it's all the pieces are there. All complete as well. And this shark chase is cool too. This one's the old one that's like from the 90s. Yep. And it still works. It still works. It has the shark and everything I on there. That thing. Yeah, wow. Yeah, that's awesome. It looks pretty good. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that there's no batteries in it currently because I didn't want it to be yeah. corroded and stuff. So totally fair. Yeah. Very cool. Yeah, board games do do great. Yeah. Um, a little bit costly to ship off, yeah. but um, it goes to the right price. Right, yeah. Throw those two games out there. And the other ones. Um, any other video games anywhere else? Um, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want to come upstairs? I would like to have a look at your collection, yeah. Nice. Mission Impossible, I think, does pretty well. Yeah. It's a good one. It's just, um... Yeah. Z. Been so many, so many. Yeah, that one's a real one. Yeah. And then this one's a real one. And then I think these ones aren't real. Yeah, you do get the fakes, yeah. don't you? Dude. There's the 64. Nice. These are, this is full of controllers. Yeah, loose controllers. Oh, and then these two tubs <laughs> are full of games. Wow. <laughs> Are they ever? Are they ever? Oh. 
That's incredible. Yeah. Red fraction. It is years and years of... of Dragon Rage. Stuff. Wow. Some of them are a bit messed up. Like this says Sims 2 Pets, but it has Sonic Heroes and Super Monkey Ball in it. Monkey Ball, yeah. But that's why I bought, um, like, these... Found these things at Office Work. They want them special for a dollar for like many of them mm -hmm. of these little thin ones. So oh, I could put just them in. put them in there. Some housing cases. Yeah. Nice. For the loose discs so that they, you know, didn't get too destroyed. Nice. Rugrats here. Yeah. Yep. And I like, yeah, some loose Lego and stuff. And this book's cool. I found this at the shop. Ultimate History of Video Games. Wow, that's awesome. It has, has everything. It's a good little coffee table book. Yeah, that's what I thought. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And some more pops. I don't know why Crash has decided to crash, but all right. Yeah. <laughs> Fake Crash Bandicoot. Yeah. Yeah, right. Suicide Squad Queen. Yeah. Coca-Cola. Coca-Cola one's cool. Wow. Inspector Gadget's cool, actually. Yeah, yeah that's and awesome. And these are... Simpsons watches. Oh wow. Yeah. That's awesome. That's really cool. Oh Karumba. And that's doesn't have a oh ninety seven. Yeah. Yeah, ninety seven. But on this the one it still says ninety seven on it, but it hasn't got like you know, anything on the back, whereas this one actually has the whole signature and everything about like Fox and everything from That's almost the better one. Yeah, it's from nineteen ninety seven as well. And then you got a bunch of DVDs. Yeah, this is that I kind of got rid of all my DVDs at the garage sale from like when I was a kid or whatever. Mm -hmm. And then this is my like my new collection of the stuff I actually want to kind of keep, which is more of your 90s, like, you know, Hey, hey Arnold, Arnold yeah. um, Batman ones still, because, you know, I, but like Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, um, Sorry. Rick and Morty, Wallace and Gromit, Family Guy. Yep. Roger Rabbit, yeah, foot trot flaps on DVDs, SpongeBob, that's the kind of thing I like, kind of collecting DVD wise. It's a very cool personal collection. Oh, yeah, I've got that like two days ago. Yeah, nice. Is this the recent bag of goodies? That was the recent stuff, yeah. Yeah, okay. Undercover, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. And then just some books here, hey? Yeah, some Futurama comics, Simpsons, Rama, Garfield. Yeah. Phantom. Just because, why not? And the maths. <laughs> <laughs> I'm with ya. I'm with ya. Nah, that's unreal. You say you had some cards downstairs, hey? Yeah, some sealed cards. That'd be yeah. cool. And, yeah, and I... nothing up here is to be part of it. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I just haven't brought it downstairs yet. So, bro, so what, what... And also, because we're in a flood zone, I don't really want to no. have all the valuable stuff downstairs. No. Yeah. So we could help you take down what you want and Maddie can sort through if you, yeah. if you do um, know. What stays and what goes though? So these two are definitely you can go through. Yep. These ones, PS2, this is all Xbox 360. Yep. Um, the console's here. Mm -hmm. Um, But I need to take that down so we can match up yep. controllers and cords because they're kind of mixed in those. I should have enough cords for all, maybe. Okay. I know... That Xbox 360 works. This PS2 has a disc reading issue. It was only blue disc at first, but I don't know if it's Ten, still re yeah. Potentially part only, eh? Yeah. The two the, this Wii works. This one I haven't tested yet. The PS4 turned on, but then it was a bit weird, so I'm not sure if that's just parts only or not. Okay. Um, these are all magic cards I have to sort through. Magic cards, some more board games. Yeah, this is like... You're selling the 64 console? Yeah. 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 Cool. And I have a controller for it too. Nice. And then this is really cool. This is a DS. Um, nice. I, but it's actually only an American color. It came with an American cord. Okay. Yeah. So would it play on? It would play Aussie chords, and it does. Yeah, oh, it does. It does. I've tested it with this one. It still does, but it's just an exclusive. But this colorway didn't come out in Australia. Gotcha. Yeah. Nice. Is that for sale? I don't know. <laughs> Maybe. So yeah, where do you want to start? <laughs> uh, 
I really like the idea of, of my number one thing, which is video games. Yeah. So I think consoles and games yeah. and accessories and all the rest of it in the gaming world yeah. is probably where to start. Okay. Um, with what you've got downstairs, but also what's what's partying with upstairs, I yeah. think, too. Yeah. Um, and then it, it might even be a case of other trips. This is games in here. I know, that's just, there was, it used to have Lunchbox. games in it, but now it's our recycling bin. Recycling bin. Yeah. yeah. Nice. Okay. You got Donkey Kong 3 on the shelf. Yeah. I would part with that. You would? Yeah. Donkey Kong Country 3 on the SNES. Well, we'll put him into this then. Do you want a snake, oh, Matt? Sorry, that was just... Um... <laughs> you got a snake, do you? Oh, yeah. Oh, wow. <laughs> That's crazy. Apologies, I was just... What's, what's the name? Uh, so, uh, this is Madam, because she is conscious as all hell. Wow. Um, yeah, she's almost two years old. You can hold her if you want. No. Yeah, I'm, I'm the exact same. <laughs> I'm close enough. I'm spooked like yeah, that. Yeah, same. <laughs> not spooked, spooked, but that's crazy. Yeah. No. Uh, and completely non-venomous. And... She's a python, non-venomous. Um, she's actually an Australian native and eats venom snakes. Oh, really? Yeah, so she's a good one to have around. Wow. That's how, many, how many do you have? I just got the one on my The one. Okay. So that, there's no, like, snakes coming out. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. That's about as close as I'll ever get yeah. to a snake. Yeah. yeah. Uh, that's crazy. That's awesome. Yeah, no. She's pretty good. Oh, yeah. Unreal. <laughs> I don't know if I'll ever be a snake owner. No, 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 no. Congratulations, you, you've gotten closer than a lot of people have. Yeah, I, I bet. Yeah. I bet. I'll go grab the special Sorry. tin. Hold on. A special tin. Special tin. That's the Charizard. I don't know any of that. I have a mate that knows all about this, but only sealed stuff. Sealed stuff. It's not worth buying this stuff that's not sealed. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know any of that. This is all eBay. Uh, mm. e EB games, EB games and, yeah. and like Kmart and stuff. Ah, uh, right. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know any of it. What's this under here? Let's see, it's just binders. But it's more modern. Yeah. Charmeleon, Charmander. Um, No, like hollows or anything. Maybe yeah. hollows is what she's grabbing now. There's a few hollows in that one. Yeah, that's... that'd be a good one. Here's the special box. The special box. Oh, full of top loaders. Oh, okay. So you know, it's, you know some, it means business when you got them in those. <laughs> so this one, Aerodactyl V, I don't know if you know much about Modern, it. Modern, no. Any but, vintage stuff I'll, I'll know. And this one as well, Ubrion V. I think these are both around 200. Okay. Yeah. Nice. And then I have some more gold ones. Did you, would you sell those? Yeah. Would you do them on consignment? Yeah. I think it'd be fair. Yeah. Because I could list them up and sell them and let you know. That would be amazing. And we can split it 50-50. That would be amazing. Yeah. If there's some good ones in there, yeah. like high ticket ones. Yeah. Especially um, these two because, yeah. Because what I do is um, I'll always do 50% of yeah. the profit. Yeah. So I'm going to take fees, post. Yeah. I even have to pay GST. Yeah. Um, and then once all that's removed, I can show you a spread of what our split is. Yeah. And then I'll just, once it's sold, that I'll transfer it to awesome. you. Yeah, I'm doing that with Matt, and he found a DVD for two hundred and seventy dollars. Oh wow! Um, found it for ten dollars. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> Moonlighting. Moonlighting. on DVD. Wow. Five seasons. Did you find it? It's got Get Bruce it. Willis. Bruce Willis, wasn't it? Yeah. And, and there's even good ones in the folders there. Well, like, I, I'm, that's what I mean. If you want to do consignment on all, like, I, I think we do consignment because I couldn't give you a fair price. Yeah. No, I, I, I that would be actually probably. I would be more happy with consignment. Okay. Yeah. I'm fine with that because I don't know. I don't yeah. know how to cut a fair deal. Yeah. Um, because I, yeah. I, I don't know what's what. Because, um, you know, it is and there's a, a, there's a lot, lot of work. Put into it as well, a know? lot of work researching it all, too. Yeah. Well, these are just the ones that I've, you know, opened packs and filled them up. So these, there's only a few cards missing out of this base but that's set. The same set. Yeah, base set, but then these ones are like the extra ones that go past the 197. The specials. Yeah, the specials. Is that Charizard any good? Yes. Yeah. I don't know if it's I think it's 50 at 50 bucks. I don't know if it's any more at the moment, but when it first came out it was Yeah. Mm. 
Yeah. I don't know if, uh, recently, but I knew that it was at least 50 that it came. And then you got a few binders, a I few got, different sets. Yeah, it's mostly um, modern. Modern ones. sets. Are there any completes? No. No completes? It just takes too much. I hear you. <laughs> I tried my best. And there is a, though this is a folder of just specials. Specials? Yeah. Some of them aren't too too great. Okay. I haven't even looked up all of them yet, you know? Yeah, I know. But there is, this is just all. All unique. <laughs> all unique. There's, this is an older one, these ones here. Okay. Not old, old, but like 2015, I think. Mm-hmm. Which is coming up to 10 years, if you think about so it, weird, you know, hey? yeah. So weird to think. There's a Charizard there. Yeah. And, like, these are all in... You could get these graded and you would be, like... Because condition's quite good, yeah? Yeah. These are all... All of these ones in the folders, I literally open the pack, put them in a sleeve, put them in the folder. Amazing. So they're all mint state. Great work. Yeah, they're all... It just takes too much time. It does. Like, these, I... There's, there's two men. Oh, these PS3s. I know that there was a really good one in here. Oh, like Resident Evil 6. Where was this weird Japanese one I found? Charizard X. This one. Biohazard. I don't know if you've ever seen this. Anything with this Capcom. Capcom. Yeah. Does well, doesn't it? So, that's a good one. Okay. Alright. Well. <laughs> This is definitely up my alley, all this video game stuff. Yeah. Because uh, well, I am slowly becoming more video game video lonely. Video game lonely, yeah. And TV show seasons. It's just seasons. Seasons, yeah. Do you know what so. would be cool? If you had a working PS2 that you could sell with your light. Oh, yeah. You see the light? I know. <laughs> <laughs> Don't remind me. <laughs> Like maybe we can just do a trade. Well, that's something. If it doesn't sell tomorrow, yeah. it'll sell tomorrow. You reckon? I guarantee it'll sell. If it doesn't sell, we can do a trade. Oh, this is cool. This is a Call of Duty yeah. ghost. Oh, that's cool. And it's a camera. It's like a tactile. Oh yeah, yeah. That's cool. Camera. I think you'll like that. Yeah. Yep. Oh, long fellow. So Open that up. Oh, yeah, nice. What is this? It's a Call of Duty Ghost tactile camera that came with the game. Yeah. Remember how they used to do that interactive PlayStation stuff? Oh, that's what I think that's from. That's what that's from. Yeah. That's awesome. These ones here. Yeah. Ooh. Some hard covers too, which is cool. Yeah, I think A lot of the same ones, but... I don't know if there's a complete set, maybe, in there or not. I think there may, there's one, one book missing for one complete set, and then... Four of the first. Yeah. Goblet. 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 Yeah, I think chamber is only one, but there should be one Millie set, full set, and then the others, three of the first three. That's a good half This one's building up. Yeah. What was that one? Oh, hello. So that's. Missing one. Missing one. Yeah. First Australian edition, though, this one. First Australian? Yeah. Nice. And then a couple of spare sets. That's probably the stack. Have to do that. What one's missing there? The last one, I think. No, that one's Definitely. coming off. The. Order of the Phoenix. No. No. Half Blood Prince, Goblet of No, you're right. Order, yeah, of, the Order of the Phoenix. Order of the Phoenix. Then you got Goblet. Oh. Yeah, put all the hard ones. Hard together. covers. I'm just checking which edition is on. That's. And then Azkaban. First Australian edition. First Aussie editions, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So. I'll probably just do one listing. Yeah. And then um, they can be built up again if you yeah. buy more. Yeah. Seal. I'm pretty sure that is like 50 to 100 on eBay. Nice. Because that's the first first um, set of One Piece. Is it? I think so, yeah. Okay. 
And then you got this one piece, more modern? Yeah, more modern. But that's the original? I think so, yeah. Okay. And then, and then you got a bunch of Dragon, Dragon Ball. Balls, yeah. Are there any originals in the Dragon Balls? Not that I know. No? Yeah, but they're... More modern. More modern. A bundle, maybe? Yeah, it'd be a bundle, bundle probably. Yeah. Yeah. There's a few here that I'll be doing as lots. Yeah. Um, so you've probably seen it on the channel. Yeah. Um, if anything's under twenty bucks, yeah, it goes. I, I sell it for three. Yeah. Three dollars. Um, so I sell it off very cheap. Yeah. And, and then I try and make my money on the ones that are worth over twenty. Um, yeah. There'd be a couple in there that I can list as individuals. Yeah. But a lot of it would just be going in a big lot, do it as a big bulk bundle, ship yeah. it off in one big large allotment. Yeah. Um, and then what was in this one? Was so this? would you want to do? Like a purchase price on on some of it, or I, would you want to consign all of it? I think I think I would look at buying everything except for the cards. Yeah, I think I'll give you a transfer of money today, yeah. uh, and then I can work on just selling it all off. Yeah. Um, so I'm happy for you to work on a price on all of all it, of okay. um, and then this I'll take away and we can consign um, for sure. And then, I mean, that's just the start too. Yeah. Like I don't anticipate I want to be back potentially even next week. Yeah. Because um, what I because now obviously without Courtney, I'll yeah. process this all myself today, yeah. and then once I've listed the whole schedule, yeah. I'll I'll come back and buy more. I wish I lived a little bit closer to you because I'd love to do do that. Well, to be honest, it actually wasn't that bad. It wasn't that, that hard, no. And, and we we got going. I know the time zone was a yeah. bit different, but um, I know it's like oh yeah, you need a worker. It's like. I'll work yeah. for you. <laughs> <laughs> I had a few messages from people saying that they'd, they'd come yeah. and work, which is pretty cool, but I'm going to try and do it all myself. Well, so. that's, and that's the thing, and that kind of maximises your, you know, if you can do it by yourself, that's the way to go. It's just, yes. I can't. No, yeah. it's, it's, trust me, I was only starting to map today, there's a lot of hours. It is. Um, and it's a, this will take a lot of time. Oh, yeah. But, I don't expect you to be able to go through that for at least, like, there's too much. There. Yeah. I'll, I'll be seeing you for more purchases before I'm even yeah. through all of that. Yeah. Um, yeah, this, there this, is a, like, these two are actually my key, so I'll just that's fine. quickly go through, because these ones are the new ones, I haven't actually bought through the properly yet. Totally fine. Um, you do your thing, you let me know whatever you want to hold on to. Come on, Tron, do you have that secret satin wheel work? I don't have a way of testing it, but it looks, if you look at the thing, it looks completely fine. Like, the, the cord it doesn't look corroded or anything to plug there. Mm, that's no. true. So I assume you wouldn't have any issues with that. It's just a big bulky just, thing. It is. Good try for it. Lego sets. I just don't know about the Lego. Hey, that looks actually sealed though. Like original. It is, yeah. yeah. So, my phone. Yeah, I, I'm just going to go with gut. Gut. Yeah. Um, it'd take forever to go through the process. I'd have this with my personal. Tell yeah, throw yeah. it in. Throw that in. Wow, these are the Game of Thrones. Crash Bandicoot. The Wrath of Cortex. And then that Teen Mum. A couple of them were sealed. And then Bratz Diamonds. What about, have you got a whole price in mind on everything? One big number? <laughs> One big scary number? I don't know. You give me a number. How about 600? I want it to be a win win. I reckon 600 would. 600. 600 bucks, and I'll be back next week. No, I'm good. 600. 600? Happy days. Happy days. <laughs> we got there. The boss didn't even say anything. Yeah, well, I do, and I will be back. Will be oh, back uh, this is week. literally the first oh, live. So oh, awesome. That was part of it, too. Yeah. Is, um, and know, then I'm these ones are on consignment, which means it'll be 50-50. Oh, awesome. Yeah. So once it's sold, rather than paying cash up front, Pokemon cards, I'll take the time to work out what's what. Yeah. And then when they sell, I'll keep a spreadsheet. We'll split it, yeah. Where's your other three tubs of Pokemon? <laughs> <laughs> so, what a ridiculous purchase that was from Bree. A big thank you uh, to Bree for all of these items. I'm really, really wrapped with this. It's going to be $600 for everything you can see here. Playing in the categories that I like to sell the most, right? Like, it's a lot of video game stuff. We've got consoles, controllers, all of the video games themselves. We've got some books, 
some cameras, some DVDs, and then accessories to the video game stuff. All of this here, this Pokemon stuff, I'm going to have a chat to you about in a second. That's obviously a separate purchase that we're doing with Bree on consignment. But everything that you can see here in this shot is all of our $600 worth of a spend. So the first thing that I want to have a chat about are these video games. We've got three different lots here. We've got the Xbox 360, the PlayStation 2, and then this is a mixed one. We've got Wii, PS3, PS4, PSP, and then Nintendo DS. All of these didn't work out to $20 or more. So we had to sell them off as a lot. I don't like to list anything that isn't worth $20 on eBay. All of these games here though, they are selling for less than, uh, sorry, for more than $20 on eBay. So that's where the value lies, but we had to do a bunch of research to work out what was what, and that's the breakdown of everything there. So this one here has already gone on to sell for $105. I accepted a best offer, initially listing that up for $115. So that one is actually out the door already. And then we're gonna try and sell off this one and this one for complete sets. Um, as for everything else, Teen Mum was a really good DVD. Uh, this one here was going for over $200. This one here as well being brand new and sealed, we might be able to get that full asking price of 200, maybe 220 bucks worth of value. Uh, the Harry Potter books, as you would have seen there, I went ahead and grabbed them and I grabbed all of the first edition hardcovers and then I've actually found the, the seventh book that we needed. Um, that was here in the, in the garage. So I'm just going to head and I'll put that one in there. We actually sold one very similar to this for $150. So we're going to go for $150 again on that one there, and we'll see how we go. Um, a lot of testing to be done on these consoles. We've got to kind of sort through, have a look at this. Massive lot there, get the camera into that. Massive lot there of different uh, controllers, Nintendo 64. Not too many cables, but there are cables for these consoles uh, here as well. But look, the consoles you can sell for some pretty decent money. We've recently sold... Uh, one of these Nintendo DS uh, double controller and console pack for around the $200 price point. Um, so that gives you an example of what we're going to be able to get out of that. And then while this lens doesn't go for that much money, uh, this lens here, as Bree was saying, does sell for some great money. We should be able to get upwards of $350 for that lens right there. Uh, so look, I think there's going to be some really good money to be made. But as I touched on with Bree, I'm going to be going back there as soon as possible. Uh, because I saw so much other stuff that you guys did too uh, that I knew the true value of, but I didn't want to go ahead and grab them right away just because of the volume of how much stuff she had. I wanted to just break it up into segments. So that was the first purchase. Let's have a quick chat about these Pokemon cards. First of all, just these ones down here, they seem to be worth a little bit when I was doing my comp research. Um, you've got an Aerodactyl right there. You've got some graded cards here too, which is always cool to see. It's a Jigglypuff there, which is a promo card number seven. That was going for about $40. Uh, this one here, the first edition um, Poliwag was a PSA 9 or a CGC 9. Uh, that goes for about $40 as well. These guys here are actually the biggest ones of, of the batch that you saw in the video. So we've got the Aerodactyl there, which is a rare one. Um, that was going for about $180. And then you've got this one here, the Umbrian V. That's actually already gone on to sell for $200. Uh, so we're gonna be putting that one into a mailbag today. Um, this one here as well has gone on to sell out of the bunch. Um, that one there is going for about $20. So Giratina, 20 bucks for that one. So all of these cards are gonna be done on consignment as we spoke of. So it's gonna be a 50% split of the profit. So Bree's already in the win there with that one coming through um, in a really quick space of time. And I dare say that this Aerodactyl is gonna go on to sell pretty soon too. Um, these cards here were in her special tin, uh, but actually just doing some research, even that new VMAX, which I thought might have comped up for some good money, didn't actually come through for anything that was you know crazy amounts of money. So I'm actually hesitant on whether or not I go ahead and I list these up onto eBay or not. Um, just doing it on consignment, there's just not much of a profit split once you actually go on to sell it and take out all the fees and post. Um, so I'm still deciding what I'm gonna do there with those. Uh, we've got some more graded games that unfortunately didn't really make the cut. Uh, none of these I could find any comps on. There are some Disney 100 cards there, Peter Pan and Aladdin. Um, and then a Pokemon card there that wasn't going for much money. And then this one here, this number 75 Graveler wasn't going for much, even though it was a PSA or a TCG uh, graded number 10. Um, we've got these as well. These are a bunch of Dragon Ball Z cards that are new in packet. I am yet to go through to work out what they're actually worth, uh, but I'll play around with those. This is what Bree said was worth a little bit of money. Apparently, this is the original one-piece set of trading cards. 
um, passage, what is it? Passage to the Grand Line. Um, we could go ahead and tear them open. There's apparently a holographic card in there. So whether or not that's a super rare card, if we were to break it open, um, that might be cool to do, but I'm pretty sure Bree's gonna wanna have that one um, sold as a sealed packet. And it's, I believe, Romance Dawn, that's a more modern one piece card packet. So we'll see how they go. This one here is um, one that was definitely from EB Games. Um, it sells for about $50, Scarlet and Violet 151, Zapdos or Zapdos EX collection. Uh, so we can get about 50 on that. And then I've got what is eight, three, four, five, six, seven, eight binders. Um, Bree's done really well as, you know, what, she's, what she said was she's gone ahead and she's put every single series. So this is the one set series. And there's just gaps in there for the ones that she's missing. But to be honest with you, they're kind of like 90% complete. There's only a few that are actually missing in her collection. So these could definitely be sold off as it is, just sell the binder for what it is. Um, but what's really cool about each one of these binders is at the back, as you can see here, she's got all of her specials, all the rare holographic cards for each individual series are referenced here. And you might be wondering as to why it's special. It's because this number here says 214 slash 197. Um, so anything where that number supersedes the lower or the, the number on the right um, tells you that it's a rare card. Um, so we've got a bunch of rare cards there. There's a Charmander that looks pretty good in there as well. But as I said, I haven't really done too much research on any of these eight folders yet, but it, they are literally complete. There are so many folders in here with really, really good Pokemon cards. And I go to the back of each one, there's a bunch of special cards in each set. So that one there, doesn't look like there is too many rares in that, but there is an entire folder. I bet you it'll be the last one that I do. Of course it is. Yep, it's the last one. <laughs> there it is there, all right. So these are all the holographics that she's pulled out. Um, now you guys are probably gonna, any Pokemon fans out there are gonna be more aware of what's a good card off face value here. Um, but if we go through a few of these pages, you'll see that she's got a really cool collection of cards and she pulled them off out of the packet straight into these binder folders. So, you know, potential of PSA 10, um, which is a really cool thing to be able to sell raw. Um, but yeah, there's a lot of nice cards, a lot of nice looking cards in here. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna actually spend the time to go through all of these. There's a Marchant VMAX, that could be worth a bit, not 100% sure. Uh, there's a Mew down there, Mew V, that could be worth a little bit, I don't know. Um, my knowledge on modern day cards isn't as great as my vintage knowledge, the ones that I used to have when I was a kid. There's a Charizard there, I don't know if that's worth anything. Um, but yeah, I'll spend the time to go through all of these. I'm gonna list anything worth maybe $30 or more. I'm gonna go ahead and list it up because we've obviously got to split it in consignment. So I think $30 for consignment is probably the starting point on a card to be listed. And then anything that isn't worth that much money, I'm just gonna simply give back to Brie. Uh, rather than putting in the time to do it myself, I think give it back to Brie. She can decide what she wants to do with it from there. Or I buy them off her and I do my best to try and sell them as a big lot, a big bundle. I don't know, we'll see. Uh, but yeah, that was pretty cool to see all those Pokemon cards. I'm always happy to do consignment. Um, it is a little bit more tedious and time consuming on my end because I've actually got to track in a spreadsheet all of these listings that I'm gonna be putting up. It's so much easier to just go ahead and do what we did with that previous purchase of $600. You've just got it in the garage from that point onwards and it can sell off in any length of time and you get all the money for it. So I do tend to rather just buy up front, but with items like this where I don't have too much knowledge on it, going away and getting a 50% cut in it is probably an easier option if you're right there and you can see something that you want but you don't really know how much to offer. That's why I went and did consignment. But an awesome pick. I will be going back this Friday to see Brie. Uh, if you guys would like to see that video made of me going back for round two, it was obviously a lot that I didn't purchase as you've seen in this video. Um, let me know in the comments and I can turn the camera on again this Friday and make another uh, video for you guys next week. But if you dig these private pick videos, I'm gonna leave another private pick video for you right here. Thanks for watching this one. and We'll see you soon.